That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. All the drama next here on EA TV. Hello to you from Wolverhampton's Molyneux Stadium. I'm Guy Mowbray and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And it's a game from the Premier League on the way. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers and they take on Chelsea. Thanks, Guy. Well, being in and around the ground before kickoff, the fans are buzzing. They can't wait for this game. So hopefully it's a fast-paced, entertaining match. Here's how the home side lines up. Yeah, when out of possession, it looks like a 5-2-3, which is quite defensive with the two holding midfielders. In possession, it'll be more of a 3-4-3, which can be quite attacking. I'm sure it's going to be quite fluid, though. That's good physical play. This is how the visitors start the game. Well, they're lining up in a 5-2-3 formation. I'm sure when they have the ball, the wing-backs will push forward to make it more of a 3-4-3. The wide forwards may go central, allowing the wing-back to provide the width and create those overloads out there. It's no great surprise who we've picked out to have a look at here. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Yeah, he just knows how to find the back of the net. Whenever the ball comes to him, he's composed, makes the right decision. He's clearly got that ability to just remain calm when others would maybe panic. Brilliant. More of that, please. Well, spoke too soon. Good recovery to win back possession. Benoit Badiashil. Chilwell. Enzo Fernandez. Fernandez. Nice ball to switch the play. Plenty of open space here. They might have got in there, well cut out. And Kunku. Ignore it. Ball taken away from them. Craig Dawson. Lemina. Pushing forward with options available now. Using his body well to keep the ball. In the right position to cut out the pass. Enzo Fernandez. On to Gallagher. Sterling. This is a lovely spell on the ball. Disappointing end to a good spell on the ball. Matt Doherty. And the referee's whistle brings to a close the first half at Molyneux. Well, he's been unable to provide a vintage performance in the first half. What would be your view, Sue? There's definitely more to come from him. He's just been a bit quiet, and at times he's made decent runs, but his teammates just haven't found him. I'm sure if he gets a chance in the second half, he'll take it. And we're moving once again for the second 45 minutes. Let's hope it's a little bit more open than the first half was. Mario Lemina. This could be threatening. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Nkunku. Enzo Fernandez. Nkunku now. Sterling. And they need to be better on the ball than that. An attack of genuine promise now. 
It looks the right ball. The chance yet to appear. And that has stopped any potential danger. In Kunku. Able to skip past. If there's John Scott in the stadium, can you please make yourself known to the nearest steward? Thank you. Dizarsi. Enzo Fernandez. Ryan Ednuri. Craig Dawson. Mario Lemina. Well, far from the most accurate pass you'll see today. Throw in to come. James. Untidy in possession there. The noise level has increased. They expected to win here today. This is another opportunity to get a late goal. Well, under some pressure, he's unable to keep it in play. Ignore it. Dawson. Jean Rigner Bellegarde. This looks really good. Could we see a winning goal? Possession lost just at the point of something happening. Reese James. Fernandez. Now Sterling. Connor Gallagher. Enzo Fernandez. Gallagher. Well, it did look promising, but threat averted. And the referee blows for full time.